Now, I spent a lot of time mulling over how best to describe what my 150 ringgit GSC Orem Theatre experience was like. And then it suddenly hit me. It's sort of like, like, have you ever been to like a really fancy restaurant and ordered like a, like a normal dish, uh, a normal plate of nasi lemak, for example? Only instead of justifying their higher price tag by you know upgrading all the ingredients and making the dish taste really good, they did something like um, add gold flakes to it or something like that. Sure, it makes the dish a lot prettier and a lot better for the gram, but at the end of the day, it doesn't make the dish taste any better. And that unfortunately is the truth that I arrived at when I think back to my GSC Orem Theater experience. Yes, a while back, Jesse invited me to check out their brand new top of the line Orem Theatre, which has ticket prices of up to 150 ringgit per person. Naturally, I was pretty psyched because it's not every day that I get to experience how the other half lives. But having experienced it, I actually have a lot of thoughts and a lot of things to say about this. So to make sure I stay on track and not ramble along too much, I've divided this video into four parts. And we'll start with part one. Jesse's Orem Theatre is the company's latest theatre, and it's also the most ridiculous one to date. It's currently in two different locations, one in JB, and the latest one has just opened up in the Gardens Mall Mid Valley, replacing the GSE signature that used to be there. Unlike the Orem Theatre that opened in JB, the one in Gardens has seven halls that are split into three different types. You've got two comfort cabin halls that feel a lot like an upmarket gold class experience. Then there are also three escape studios that each come in a different design theme. The first studio is called the Hig Hall and it's filled with rocking chairs decked out with Gita latex pillows and Gita blankets for you to get comfortable in. The second studio is called the Diptych Hall and it's a tribute to pop art so you've got a big neon sign at the back and very attractive recliners and couches and is low-key my favourite simply because I love neon. The third escape studio is the Tenenbaum Hall and it's a tribute to Wes Anderson. Though I was a little disappointed that the hall didn't quite have the aesthetically pleasing symmetry that I usually associate with anything Wes Anderson. Nevertheless, these halls are designed to be Instagrammable and I guess they are a lot more Instagrammable than like your standard cinema hall. In any case, a ticket to get into either the comfort cabin or the escape studio will set you back 120 ringgit, which is a lot of money. But if you're interested in the pièce de résistance, you need to opt for the Gila Lux Suites, which has ticket prices of 150 ringgit per ticket. For that extravagant amount of money, you're also getting an extravagant amount of extravagance. I've been told that that's their biggest haul here and you don't just sit on regular old chairs or recliners, you get to set your butt on something called the luxury recliner. Now, it may look like a bed and feel like a bed, but I've been told explicitly not to call them beds. That being said, you can fully recline these recliners and they also come with two pillows and a fleece blanket. Now, I know what might be going through your head. You're still watching like the same kind of movies in the same kind of theater halls. The only difference is that now you've got fancier chairs to sit on. But that shouldn't add up to 150 ringgit, right? Well, that brings us to part two. Jesse doesn't just want to sell you movie tickets and popcorn anymore. They want their theatres to be like a social hub where people can come and drink and eat and chill and watch a movie if that's what they really want. With that in mind, each ticket purchased to the Orem Theatre will also come with something called the Orem Pass. With this pass, you can eat at the exclusive restaurant that's in the theatre itself that's called Gin Gastro Bar. Each pass entitles you to one dish from a fixed menu as well as a cocktail of your choice. And honestly, the choices were a little limiting considering the price of the ticket and definitely not the kind of food I thought I would get with a posh restaurant. Alternatively, you can have the food delivered into the hall itself right to your seat during the screening. If you want more food, you can always call for service and a GSC staff member will walk right up to your seat and you can order from them. 
Now I asked GSC about how like their staff would get to your seat and if there was like a secret path or like a trap door that opened up that they could come out and not catch out like the rest of the moviegoers. But all they told me was that their staff will do their best to be like ninjas. <laughs> Now I've left links to the menu that you get with your Aurum Pass as well as the in-hall menu so you can get like a rough idea of what you're getting yourself into. Now though, it's time for part 3. I got to test the most expensive seat of all, the Gita Lux Suite, and I can confidently say that it's unlike any other normal cinema going experience that I've been to. I chose a seat that was in the second row from the front. Usually this is an awful position because you'd typically be too close to the screen, but since the theatre was so huge, it was actually not a problem at all. In my seat, there was also a blanket, two pillows, a pair of disposable slippers, a lamp with dimming function, a wireless charger, and a remote for the seat. There's also like a small compartment at the side of your seat which you can use to like store your stuff in, which is like a nice touch. That said, I immediately noticed that this seat was unlike the ones I saw in the promo images. There was no table in the middle nor could I find a physical divider to separate myself from the person next to me, which can be troublesome if you're watching alone. On top of that, my particular seat had an issue with the remote control. Nothing I did made the chair move and after I called for assistance, it took the staff member at least 10 minutes with a trip out of the hall and back in again just to get my seat working. Once the movie started, I made all the necessary tweaks and tried to get as comfortable as I could but the unfortunate thing is that I just simply couldn't find a position that worked for me. <sighs> I know, this sounds like so crappy of me to say because I like have a pillow, I have a blanket, I have another pillow and then I have a recliner that can like move up and down. But the sad thing is that I just really couldn't find like a position that was comfortable for me throughout the entire movie. Maybe this is like a unique Rory thing because after the screening, you know, looking around and also talking to the people there, a lot of them seem very happy with the comfort level of their seat. So your mileage may vary. Now, another thing a lot of you might be concerned about, uh, myself included, is like the general cleanliness and the odors from the food and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to odor from food, that's really not something that you can escape from. If the person sitting next to you is eating like something that has a strong smell, like the teriyaki chicken skewers, then you're definitely gonna be able to smell it. But that being said, you know, I think the entire menu is pretty odor neutral, so I don't think this will be like a huge problem. Regarding general cleanliness, Jesse assured me that after each screening, the sheets and covers, they will all be changed and the whole seat will be like thoroughly cleaned. So I guess that shouldn't be a big problem either. But now comes the big question and the final part in this series. I'm gonna have to say no. And a lot of that is because I just don't see where my 150 ringgit is going. When I spend a lot of money on something, I like to see where, you know, the extra cost is going. Like if I can see like, okay, the extra cost is going here and it's better and or it's like going here and it's like a lot better of an experience, you know, that, that sort of like justifies itself in my head for me. But when it comes to this, I just don't think that I'm getting my money's worth. The food, for example, left a lot to be desired from both selection and taste, and the visual and audio experience like felt basically unchanged from a regular haul. The only unique thing about it is the, you know, the new seat, but I don't think that that's worth a hundred and fifty ringgit. Most importantly though, I didn't feel like my movie going experience was being elevated. I mean, I can see that they tried really hard to make everything very pretty, but I don't feel like they upgraded the essence. There wasn't really a point in my tour where I was like, wow, I can't wait to like come back and do this again or like try this again, you know? I mean, it looks a lot prettier and a lot nicer for the gram, sure. And it's also really nice for like news headlines or video headlines. It's like, whoa, 150 ringgit movie ticket. Whoa, amazing. Whoa, you've got like basically a chair that is a bed. But as a movie going experience, I was left sorely wanting. And if I'm gonna pay that much for something like this, that's really not a feeling that I wanna leave the theater with. 
But that's what I think. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. On like a little bit of a side note, after my whole Aurum experience, I actually went to catch Star Wars in like one of Jesse's smaller theaters in One U. Um, I it, it had like the new you know sort of like leather plush seats and it was pretty comfortable. And you know I had a blast there, even though this was like a smallish cinema with like very standard seats. And that really just reinforced what I felt about the whole experience as a whole. The whole experience as a whole? <laughs> yeah, the whole experience. But yeah, that's just my perspective. You know, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so make sure you leave them in the comments below. Have you tried it? Would you be interested in trying this? You know, 150 ringgit movie ticket. I'd love to hear what you have going on in that beautiful brain of yours. In the meantime, if you want to watch more videos, you can check out the boxes that are probably already right next to my head, or you can subscribe to us so you don't miss any of our future uploads and click on the notification bell icon so that you'll be alerted every single time. You can also follow and like us on Facebook, but our home is and will always be at soyachinchow.com. Till the next video, I'm Rory and I'll see you then. Bye!